In the AI art generation, Midjourney is the popular tool. Now another tool can challenge Midjourney. The Leonardo AI. It's a powerful and realistic generative AI and we can generate extremely fantastic images from it. In this video, we will explore the impressive capabilities of Leonardo AI and learn how to use them to achieve your desired outcomes and what is the best settings for image generations. Additionally, I am going to show you some pathways to generate passive income using Leonardo AI. How to get access to Leonardo? First you go to their website named leonardo.ai, click the create an account button, then enter your name and email address, and click the count me in button, then you will be directed to a screen like this, close it and wait for the mail from Leonardo. It takes a couple of minutes. I got the mail within a few minutes. Now click the launch Leonardo AI button. Then Apple login screen, you should sign in first. Now you are perfectly accessed into Leonardo AI. If you have already created an account, you can log in by going to leonardo.ai and clicking the start using Leonardo in the top right corner. Then click yes I am whitelisted. And this is the Leonardo home screen. You get 150 tokens with your free account that reset every 24 hours. That means Leonardo gives you a free 150 credits every day to use. Typically, it's about 1 to 16 tokens per image depending on your settings. And different things you do inside the Leonardo require different amounts of tokens. If you want more tokens, you can upgrade your plan which gives you more daily tokens and some features only available for paid members. The best part is that your creations are free to use for commercial purposes even if you are on the free plan. That means you own all the content you generate using the platform and you can sell those. And right up here at the top of the Leonardo, there are featured models like Dreamshaper version 7, 3D animation style, RPG version 5 and many models you can play with. These are various image generation models developed by Leonardo. Now let's see what's in the community feed. Here constantly updated with user creations. You can keep up with the trending, new and top images. By clicking on image, you can see the prompt and all the settings used to generate a specific image. It's an excellent thing in Leonardo. We can use those for our generations. Image to image and remix are cool features in Leonardo. I will tell you more about them in a bit. Let's jump into the personal feed. Here you can see images you have generated in the past. Now let's see where the real magic happens. How to generate images with Leonardo? Mainly you can click on the AI image generation tab or you can come back to the home feed and then click on the one of the models that you want to use. I'm going with Dreamshaper version 7 and click on generate with this model and it will take us to our AI generation tool. This page has many things to look at so we will take them one by one and I will tell you the best settings to generate impressive images at the end. Let's start with the prompt inbox. You can type your prompt here, then choose the fine tune model and style you want to generate with. And then you have an excellent option. You can add a negative prompt by switching on this. So anything you don't want in the image, you can add as a negative prompt. And then you have generate button and here display how much tokens will cost for the generation. This will change with your settings. Then we have the image generation tab and the prompt generation tab. Prompt generation is another fantastic option in Leonardo. If you need a better idea about creating a good prompt, you can use this tool to generate a more complex prompt ideas from a simple prompt. For example, let's type a girl here. Then click ideate. Leonardo created awesome prompts like this. Now you can generate with the prompt you are satisfied with or you can edit it here. I'm copying this and pasting it into a prompt box and adding some negative prompts. Let's click generate. Wow, look at how beautiful is it, how realistic is it. And on the left we have some settings, you can pick the number of images you want to generate with each prompt. Then there is photoreal option, you can generate hyperrealistic and lifelike portraits with this. And there are some settings related to photoreal, something you can experiment with. And you can on and off prompt magic here. 
which means Leonardo added elegance to the image more than what you said in prompt. Then there are some settings related to prompt magic, something you can experiment with. Try different settings with prompt magic tutorial turned on to see how the outputs differ. And over the right, you can see how many tokens it will use. Now I will discuss the feature that lifted up AI art into next level, the alchemy. With this, you can transform basic prompts into stunning creations. You can generate images and turn alchemy on and off using the same prompt. You will be surprised to see how powerful tool it is. The sad part is alchemy burns more tokens, but trust me, it's truly worth it. Then you have some alchemy related settings here. When you go to those question marks, it will display what we can do with them. And I will tell you the best settings to generate in a bit. By turning off the public image, you can stop your generations going to the community feed. But to use this feature, you need to upgrade to a paid plan. Here you can adjust image dimensions. The more you go to a larger dimension, the more tokens you spend. And you can change aspect ratio here. Next is the guidance scale. Currently this is not working with alchemy and this is basically how strongly your prompt is weighted. In other words, it is a number that indicates how important the prompt is. The lower the number we let Leonardo do more creative in image generation. The higher the number, Leonardo will generate images more relevant to the prompt. It can produce unwanted results if it is too high or too low. So they recommend using around 7. So I keep it default. Then we have the control net option. With this you can influence your image generation with the input image. Let's see how it works. First, remember control net didn't work with the alchemy or prompt magic currently. So we should turn them off to use control net. Another thing is control net only works with the models that are derived from stable diffusion 1.5. Now I upload the reference image first, then let's turn on the control net and some settings are displayed. Here you can see three options. I will choose first one, post to image and with this option we can generate images with the influence by the pose of the reference image. Then we have the option to control the weight. The higher the weight, more the control net will influence the generation output. I'm set it as 1 and now add a prompt and click generate. Wow, you can see that generated images are mostly the same as the pose of the reference image. There are two more options here, edge to image, which takes the reference image, all the outlines and edges, including the background and recreates them. Other one is depth to image. In this, Leonardo takes only the subject's detail of the reference image and recreates them. Jump into the image prompt. First you upload the image here and then we have image weight. It's about how strongly influence your generated image by the reference image. Higher values make your output more like reference image. Low values make your output like a prompt. I set it as 1 because I need to generate my image more like reference image. Then we have prompt magic strength, it's about how strong the prompt magic influence the output, I will keep it as default. Let's add some prompt here and click generate. You see the generated images are more like reference image. There's also an option for tiling which will repeat the same pattern, you can try it out. I have talked about all settings in the image generation of Leonardo. You can experiment with those by moving them around and see what kind of images are generated. As I promised before, now I am going to share what is the best setting for getting best results. With my experience on the settings, keep Prompt Magic turned on and version 3 beta selected. Prompt Magic is strength set as 0.55. Keep raw mode off and alchemy turn on, high resolution turn off and input dimension 1024 by 768 or 1360 by 768 and leave other settings as default. Keep your prompt as short as possible, long prompts not work well and set your style as dynamic, let's generate.
Wow, see, the generated images are super impressive. By the way, avoid getting stuck on these settings, always you can experiment. And see, there are some options above like download image, unzoomed image, and some upscalers and background removal options. When you move the mouse over the each icon, it will display what happens with it. You can play with these options and put a comment about how valuable those options are. And there is editor also, edit in canvas. This is an awesome feature Leonardo has. In here, you can edit your generated images and add things, extend your image. There are a lot of things to discuss, so leave it to another video. Let's jump into the home field again and scroll down. When you see some other's awesome creation, click on it. You get a bunch of information regarding the what the prompt was like and the settings, what the model was used. And then you can click remix over here to instantly copy the prompt into your AI image generator with the same settings in the terms of the model. Now you can change the prompt or some settings and click on generate. That's another awesome feature Leonardo has. And we have to talk about image to image option. When you click on the image in the community feed, you can see there's an image to image option. Click on it and you can use this for copy prompts to AI art generator like this. And see, that image has loaded to image to image. Now you can create a variation of that. You can change the prompt or some settings and click on generate. See, results are similar to the image we clicked on the community feed. And now let's talk about how to train your own dataset in Leonardo. With this, you can upload a bunch of images that look similar. Then Leonardo automatically will try to find the similarities between those images and make a generation model. You can generate more images that look similar by using your model. Go to the training and dataset. Click create new dataset, then type the name for your dataset. Now you can upload a bunch of images here, or you can find images in your previous generations. Or you can add the images created by other users in Leonardo, like this. Now you can see selected images are appear in dataset images, then click train model. There are some details to fill in, I keep all as default and put some instant prompt. Then click start training. When your train model is ready to use, Leonardo will inform you by a mail. And you can see here job status are done. And here is your trend model. Here, platform models are the models trained by Leonardo team. These are the models trained by other users. You can generate with those. And here are the models you train. Now you can generate images with your model. Let's generate some images with my realistic model. Also, you can train the model with your real images. Then you can generate whatever you want with your face. And you can train a model for minimal logo creation. You can train a model for creating t-shirt design. You can do many things with this. Try different things and tell us about your unique models in our FB group. Leonardo is an excellent generative tool you can experiment with. Scroll the community feed and explore really impressive creations and see what prompt used, which settings were used to create those images. And you can try with different different settings. You will be a master of this. And don't forget to post your unique creation in our FB group and tag us on Instagram. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section or in the Star AI FB group. So you can generate passive income with this. You can create t-shirt designs, patterns, coloring books, illustrations, artworks, stock photos and stickers and sell those on online markets like 
Printify, Etsy, and Fiverr. There are a lot of markets on the internet today. If you are interested in making passive income with Leonardo, comment below. I will create another video about it. Remember to like, subscribe, and the click the bell button to see more videos of AI and much more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.